In most cases, offshore means dealing with a different culture. Your offshore partner will natively think differently to you, and their people will have different ambitions. For example, systems professionals in India have different career and personal aspirations from those in the UK. Their expectations of employers and clients are also different. You must appreciate those differences. Make sure you understand your side of the bargain and know what's expected of you. You can't simply put a human-based business relationship in a box. It must be nourished and nurtured. When you're dealing with a different country thousands of miles away and a different, often alien culture, you've got some learning to do. And the learning is not one way. There must be mutual understanding. They must understand you too. At the outset of any offshore relationship, ask your offshore provider about cultural education. If they don't offer it, or if they are negative about the need for it, then question how much they really understand about successful offshoring. Any outsourcing relationship will, or should, end up with a lot more structure around it than you might have with an in-house service. Unfortunately, Few companies have robust documentation and processes clearly laid out and well-structured training courses for new people joining the development or support team. There are those that do, but they're in the minority. So what's the solution? Bring your offshore team to your company. Of course, you need to visit the offshore provider on a regular basis to check progress, meet the people and ensure they buy into your plans. However, you should also cycle the offshore team through your business so that they understand what it's about. It's entirely possible that some members of that team will have no idea what a Western retailing operation looks like. Let them touch it and feel it. It's the only way to succeed. Remember, most retailing in India is still totally different to the UK. That's why it's often hard for Indians to conceptualise what retailing in the UK is all about. That means the people developing your systems can't understand the experience you're trying to deliver to your customers. There are over 10 million mum and pop stores across India. That makes the concept of large, principally self-service retail environments alien to most Indians. As a result, those UK retailers that have set up in India staff the shop floor very differently. Consider a catalogue based environment. In the UK, there are staff at the till or the service counter yet there are no staff front of house. No one in the UK expects help to look through the catalogue before they buy or to inspect the actual product they're taking home. In India it's different. Customers expect staff front of house to help them and they want to touch and feel their product. Understanding this different way of shopping is vital to create an offshore development service focused on the UK retail industry. We bring people from our Indian team to the UK and send them shopping take them to a shopping centre, give them a list of our clients, tell them to go and find those shops and buy things. To some, it must feel like a baptism of fire, but it helps them really understand the UK customer experience. We then can take them deeper into the retail environment. For example, when they start, few of the team have any concept of what a SKU is, or what a void is, or what constitutes a special order or an exchange. So there's a steep learning curve. Thank you.